I've attended 110 grounds in my time. I've entered many, many raffles, but have I ever won one? No, absolutely not. Today, we changed that. Oh, yeah, and we go and watch the football as well. That, that's, that's kind of the main thing. <laughs> it's on the road at Saffron Walden Town. Enjoy. <laughs> On the road, yep, back again. Got something to admit, I have now changed radio stations. I am 100% 102.2 Smooth FM. I never really cared until I met you. And that chills me to the bone. How do I get you alone? How do I get you alone? Bit more important news, another Saturday is up on us. The sky is blue, the sun is out, and we're about to go on the road jet back again. This time, staying in Essex, got to get back and look after the kids. This one's been on the radar for a while now. It's Saffron Walden Town FC. I've actually been here before with the Sunday side and bad memories, bad memories. <laughs> I'm hoping today will be a better experience, and I actually refuse to believe that Saffron Walden Town is in Essex. It, it just seems like forever away. It's 12 miles north of Bishop's Dalford, 15 miles south of Cambridge, and 43 miles north of London. It also retains its rural appearance and some buildings of the medieval period. I'm half expecting to see a jousting contest, and I'll be telling you more about the football club right after this week's sponsor. Lads, ladies, I've got something for you. And no, no, it's not this. This is a completely other video, so uh, stay tuned. But anyway, if you happen to be into fantasy football or FIFA Ultimate Team, then listen up. Introducing Ultimate Champions, the new generation of fantasy football. What is it? How does it work? I'm going to go through it right now. But first, I must say, it's a completely free to play game. Free? Yes, absolutely free. And it's a game that sees you build your squad with digital collectibles. You then earn rewards to further enhance that squad whilst competing against your mates and me to become, well, the ultimate champion. They literally launched last week and already have 30 officially licensed clubs on the game. These clubs are from England, Scotland, France and Romania. Curveball. Oh, by the way, I'm a bit of an expert on the Romanian leagues. Actually, England, Scotland as well. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you're not going to beat me at this. There, I said it. I must point out the game is currently in the beta stage at the moment and they've told me in addition to the 30 teams that's already on there, there will be more added to and more more game features and modes as well. This is literally just the beginning. You're ahead of the curve, early to the game. Welcome aboard. So how does this differ from normal fantasy football? Well, the players in the game are digital trading cards, NFTs if you like, that you fully own. I'm going to say the word again, fully, because they are fully licensed from the clubs themselves. So everything you own is absolutely 100% official. And as a result, not only can you start playing with them to collect digital rewards to enhance your team, but you can also sell the cards on the marketplace for real money. So where do you start exactly? Well, when you sign up, you draft 11 common cards. These are very similar to untradable cards in Ultimate Team. And depending on how they doing their real life matches will determine how many points you get. The more points you get, the higher up the table you get, the more rewards you get. I've chucked my 11 common cards together here and as I mentioned before, these cards are not tradable. They're not classed as NFTs. They're literally just here to get you started. The rewards, they come later on down the line. Be patient. For now, you need to use your noodle. Use that football knowledge to get as many points with these untradables as you can. For anyone that follows me on the socials, you'll probably know that I'm into my Web3. I love my crypto. I love my NFTs. I'm, I'm bang on it at the moment. So to see a football project jump into this scene really excites me. Football on Web3 isn't exactly there yet, but Ultimate Champions does a really good job of bridging that gap, making it so, so easy to sign up. And obviously you don't need to use any of your own money to get started. Unless you want to grab the odd pack, then be my guest. Honestly, it simply feels like a normal football game. I also love that I'll be able to directly compete with you guys as well. And to do that, you simply just need to join my league. Smooth's Web3 Championship is right here, ready to go. So make sure when you sign up, join your league. As I mentioned, the game is in beta at the moment, so it's a perfect time as the season runs down to use these last sort of fixtures to really get into the game, get prepped, understand it all. So when the new season comes around, you're ready to roll. And don't worry, the game doesn't reset like other games that you might be used to so any players that you collect this season will carry on next season and even if a player transfers the game will track their score at their new club so what you're waiting for get involved links are in the description below to sign up and to join my league as well good luck you're gonna need it i'll see you in the game yep absolutely get involved someone else is getting involved are these two cars up here one of them being a loony a learner sorry you can't just jump red lights like that who the hell do you think you are this is the width restriction that nobody wants to go through you're here what you're doing here honestly i applaud your bravery but there's rules to adhere here you don't just make things up as you go along i'm fuming absolutely fuming. Eventually, I legally went through the width restriction that nobody wants to go through and ended up at this place. It's the complex where one man, his girlfriend, and 15,000 cats reside. Hello. 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 Starting route. To where? Yeah, where? Does Saffron Walden Town not get a shout out today? New ones. Oh, you're a wizard, Harry. Talking to Harry Potter, you probably know this. If you're an iPhone user, say, hey Siri, Lumos, and check the back of your phone. You're welcome. Anyway, this journey starts by going on the bloody A13, where we quickly switch to the big bad boy M25, and then keep right for the M11. And we continue our journey to name Saffron Walden Town FC, who were founded. Wait, I'm excited for a prop roll club. Please can you say prop roll when a team is prop rolled, Smith? It has to come back. Why don't you say prop rolled anymore? When a club is prop rolled, you say prop rolled, please. I miss it. They are prop rolled. They currently find themselves in the Essex Senior League. Just one point will confirm a runner's up position, and a playoff game against a team that finishes third from bottom in the Ishmael North Division, that's step four. 
I played a football at Caton's Lane, which has a total capacity of, I'm not actually sure. I saw 2,000 somewhere. We'll go with that. There are seats. Couldn't tell you how many, and none of them are heated. Absolutely not. Just seen a sign for Saffron Walden. Went there, didn't we? And welcome to the rural slash medieval town of Saffron Walden. And I hate to skip all this beautiful architecture, but we're going to go to a car park, hopefully find a space, and go and watch the football. I'll do it properly in a minute, don't worry. Space found, just kind of park in the middle. On a foot, yep, back again. I've just purchased one of the cheapest tickets of the year. Seven pound. Program for a quid, too. Why not? No, click, 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 but hello, mate. How you been? And the boop. Introducing the most social club looking chair there is. They're asking for a bit of respect here. Language, litter, glasses. Back to the bar. Good shout. Let's go to the bar. En route. Every non league round needs a pile of crap. I've actually come here looking to win the raffle today. We were told to look out for Malcolm. You'll know him when you see him, they said. Don't know what that means, but we found a man with a raffle book. It's got to be Malcolm. Two quid in my pocket. Two pounds spent on the raffle. Let's bring it home today, boys. Many a screens in this bar. And for the second on the road running, Man United are getting trounced. Normally I'll win mine, but this one's against Arsenal. Behind me is a drum. That's all I've got to say, really. I've just smelt the food, so let's get something to eat. We've got some rules, by the way. No smoking, no vaping. Charlie. Sorry, mate. Oh, that reminds me, we lost one of you the other week. Or maybe not. Chrissy was considering unsubscribing due to Charlie now choosing to smoke elf bars. He didn't have him down as a 15-year-old chav. This comment made Charlie sad. He's actually a 17-year-old chav. Have some respect. In the food queue, solid advice from Maureen. Can we get some to eat now? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I love a bit of small talk. Anyway, here's the menu. I've had some good things, so I'm going to get a double cheeseburger and some dirty chips to share. Gotta say, this lot have done really well to keep up with the physicality of the Essex Senior League. We've everything going against them and the opportunity to grab second place today. It's a huge achievement. Hang on, what's that? Oh, that's the team. Let's try again. Huge achievement for this lot. Second place can be secured and the opportunity to go up to step four via the playoff. And they've done that by playing rugby. Mind blowing. Big shout out to the groundsman here for keeping the beautiful game looking, well, as beautiful as he can. Food arrived and uh, it's not what we ordered. That is not dirty chips. And I've got a bacon double cheeseburger instead. It's. It's not what we ordered. Chaz will take my bacon. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I don't want it. We could change it, but let's not be picky. Let's just crack on and eat it. It looks good, doesn't it? Dog of the football. We just spotted Malcolm in the background again. Got some more change in my pocket, and I. Yes, Malcolm. Does look like a Malcolm, actually. He's gonna sort out another ticket, and we're gonna win this today. Back to the food. Um, we got a free drink with a burger. I'm still chomping down on mine, although it is it's very heavy. It's very rare Charlie doesn't finish his food. Today, unfortunately, my friends, was that day. Malcolm's tempting us. He keeps loitering. We've just chucked him another fiver. That's eight pounds spent on the raffle. Gamble responsibly. As the players come out to the pitch, I've just bumped into the reserve goalkeeper for Saffron Warden Town. You were there on the road videos as well. It's Luga. Hello. Hello. Luca then said he'd stick a sticker in the dugout. Go on, don't. you got to do it. And off he went. Can't really see much. Also, drop a like on this video if you appreciate this. In fact, if you could drop a like on the video anyway, it really helps me out. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Thank you. Right, let's walk. Looks like the wind's going to take this corner flag over. I'm not surprised. Look at the girth on it. Chip alarts for days. As we turn that corner, we've just kicked off. Went to the wrong end though, didn't we? Although we will chill for a second because that burger. I'm not going to lie, the socks on this keeper slightly annoy me. Not because they don't match. They just look faded and about 20 years old. Maybe they're lucky socks. Actually, you know what? Go on, you keep them on. <laughs> Sounds alright down there. Let's walk. And I'm route this chance. <laughs> As we continue that walk, I'm feeling inadequate. We then reach the corner and, uh, yeah, it's another timeout. Honestly, the burger has defeated us. And not in a good way either. Back to the game. Handball. Oh, just a quick one from the announcer. Registration EJ14CHD. Yeah, guys, if you're watching and that's your car, you're blocking the gate. Before the game, I was told Gavin Cockman's got a big one. Oi. Yeah. Throw ain't too bad either. Slight improvement on the flag girth down here, by the way, but uh, still chip alarter. Hey, it's Malcolm. No, you're not getting any more out of me, mate. No more. <laughs> Dog of the football, as I say, a draw will be good enough today, but Saffron Walden, they want this win. Just come back round here for a drink. Doesn't he need one? I'm always told they have Dr. Pepper here. Not today. Cherry Coke it is, and I don't mind it. That's one pound twenty spent. You know what happens with change? Go straight to Malcolm. That's another two pound on the raffle. I haven't got a problem. We're just determined to win today. Yeah, a couple of numbers we spread out quite nicely. Who? Dog of the football. So that's a non-league thing, right? <laughs> Look, reserve goalkeeper Lucas back. What happened? You're not needed second half. Fuck my right calf. It's in the wall, man. He's done his right calf. Hang on, back to the game. Chance. <laughs> Luca, where you going, mate? Luca, I thought you'd done your right calf. Charlie Smith. Charlie Smith. Charlie Smith. So that's half time, and that can only mean one thing the big raffle announcement. I was waiting, I've been really keen to see what's behind here, and I bet you're as buzzing as I was. Lads, lads, lads. Brentwood, Shoreditch. Brentwood, Shoreditch. Five from two that doesn't want to grow up. 10,000 likes, and I'll wear some dad shoes. Dog of the foot. No, I've done that one. I'm a little bit disappointed as the players make their way back out. I haven't heard a raffle announcement. Sort it out, Malcolm. Have I mentioned this lot today? I haven't. Hodgson Town, everyone. Oh, here we go. Announcer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's not going to do it. What? Oh my god. Didn't announce it. What? 
Jesus Christ, I'm not happy right now. I'll give him a chance, but as it stands, Saffron Warden Town sit in the category of we're doing a raffle, but we're not going to announce the winner. I'm just annoyed. Really cheesed off. Oh, mate, put the camera. Who brings a camera to a football game? This is a really good spot to stand. You get your own oak table. That's not an oak tree, Smith. The grain isn't going in the right direction. Oh, shut up, you mill. See some more of those seats that aren't heated. Currently behind the Saffron Warden Town bench, and uh, we're trying to find the sticker that Luca apparently stuck. At the moment, we're having no luck in finding it. So, with that said, I'm going to put a warrant out for arrest. This man, do not approach him. He's very dangerous. He's known to fake injuries and steal stickers, too. Well, at least someone's having some luck today. It's not how you treat a bottle of Dr. Pepper, though. Charlie's just been out. Charlie. I stand corrected. Number seven's always tricky players, aren't they? This one, not really working out right now. But no, man, like when I'm not filming, you'll get the flip flap out. The tick attack, a bet mid like over the rainbow flick. More oak tables being produced here at Saffron Morden Town. Uh, Smith, it's not an oak tree. Shut up, you absolute what's it. Back to the tour, they've got the covered stand over there. Again, I don't know how many seats are in there. Feel free to take a screenshot and have a guess. You can guess all you want. I won't be able to provide you the right answer, though. Is that Saffron Morden Town and Palmer's FC winger, Lewis Francis? Feel free to check out my other channel, Palmer's FC. It's, uh, it's, it's a laugh. I take everything back. They're about to announce the raffle. And the prize for the day is. 776. And the raffle number is... Tumbleweed. Dog of the football, but hang on. They've told us the prize money, but haven't announced the winning number. What's going on? Curse of the camera, I promise. The number seven is sick, with my own eyes. He just did an Elastico scissor pullback, then annoyed Leonardson for 40 yards, and then just Richard Shaw two defenders. Billy Wingrove, eat your heart out. I'll have to speak to the media guy here. He captured everything, I promise you. Mate, you got the Elastico scissor pullback, right? No? We often speak about money as ruining the game. Flashy footballers, clubs pricing their fans out. We normally point at the Premier League, but honestly, you're wrong. It's filtered down to step five of non-league. Players warming up in Calvin Klein puffer jackets. Game's gone, mate. Game's gone. It's not what it used to be, nah. No. I think they call this a professional foul. <laughs> I oh, know, that was absolutely shocking. With that aside, still no one's giving the answer to whether there's more doors in the world or wheels. It's time for the Gavin Cockman show. I want to make this man more famous than Rory Delap. Word on the street is Gavin Cockman doesn't need a run-up. If he did, the ball would end up in Cambridge, and we don't want that. I'm always on the lookout for a number two. There he is. Not much more to say, to be honest. No digital subs balls at Saffron Walden, but uh, off comes number 10. Who's that? Charlie Smith. But more importantly, where's the raffle? Charlie then took matters into his own hands. Tweeted the football club, didn't he? As if by magic. 702. Thank you very much. 702. Come on, come on. No. No. Oh, no. No. No, no, no! Now, I did say there's no digital substables at Saffron Walden Town, but looks like Hodderson Town are getting flashy. Immediate hey, man, did you get number seven's top bounce? You might not have caught it, but it was just before the footstool, hot stepper, shoulder stool, hamstring stool between the knee catch. No? He got this bit though. Nice turn. They always fail the good ones. <laughs> Before that, no digital subs pulled again. They're about to bring on the non-league four. Four actually modelled himself on this guy. This is Stan Leach, and he always scores. Who won the number two with a free kick duty? What's the delivery like? <laughs> Damn it, Stan. I thought you always scored. One moment later. <laughs> But can we get rid of that rule? Can we let players properly celebrate, please? I want diving in the crowds. I want shirts off, shorts off, pants off, socks off, the lot. Keep the shin pads on, though. We must draw a line. What does the town might be losing, but they're showing off now with their digital subs board. And uh, look who it is, number 17 coming on. Uh, someone look after my CK jacket, please. There's just loads of smashed up oak trees everywhere. Uh, it's smooth, it's not an oak tree. Oh, you can pipe down too, you absolute 2B pencil. Can't be long left now. <laughs> Might be a bit premature, but... As I mentioned before, they have secured second place. They will be going into that playoff, and it will be against Whittam Town. They finish third from bottom in the Ishmael North Division. They won't be worrying about that just yet. For now, they're going to celebrate. As for us, I'm going to start walking. Should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. Okay, so we're going to start things off with atmosphere. How was it? Yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? When it was loud, it was loud. When it was quiet, it was quiet. But as far as non-league goes and the level it's at, it was decent. I'm going to go three and a half stars for this. Next up, we're talking facilities. How was it at Caton's Lane? Yeah, it's quite nice. Perfectly imperfect. Definitely going to give them an extra half star for the oak tree tables. Smooth it wasn't. There. All right, now sit down. Now you're back turnover. Yeah, I like this ground. Big yet cozy. Caton's and you're just gonna get yourself four stars. All right, Smith, what's next? It's food and drink. I'll keep it brief. Won't dwell on it. And it went like this. Ordered food. Didn't get the food we wanted. Ate it anyway. Wasn't good. 
w wasn't good. The chips, okay at best, but that burger sees the scores dip quicker than a crypto rug pull. I'm sorry, one star. And finally, we're talking cost. Expensive? No, seven pounds to get in. These non link prices are unrivaled, and for that reason, it's gonna get your big bad boy five stars. So does that put Saffron Warden Town in the table? We're down to 15th with 13 and a half stars. Respectable score, but imagine where we'd be if the food was good. I'm told it normally is. Maybe we had a bad batch. So, whilst this lot celebrate, big moment for this lad. Oh, no! He's out of mare. See you, mate. Take it easy. Yeah, see you, mate. Bye. Here is the exit. And just like that, we are out of here. Another grand ticked off. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, click that bell to be notified when a new video is out, just like this one. And if you smiled, laughed, cried, or showed any sort of emotion during this video, why don't you drop a like? It really helps the channel out. If you want to see more of these videos, I urge you to check out the On the Road playlist. Over 100 grounds done. All I say is happy binging. Until the next one, my name's Smith. This has been On the Road, and I'll see you in the next one. Imagine if they were oak trees. Imagine. It would be laughing now, you bunch of table legs.